Okay, hello all. This video we are going to talk some simple questions in areas of paint figure. So I will do it fast, but I will let you to do it with me one by one. Okay, now first of all we go to the first question. We are going to find the area of this rectangle A, B, C, D in the figure. And we are going to find the A, B. That means it's the width and also the B, C, which is the length of this rectangle and then find the area so i'll pause 15 seconds now and hope you can do it now okay now if you cannot finish now please pause the video and i will show the end now so I repeat, please pause the video if you do not finish. Okay, now I'm going to calculate. For the A, B, you will see this is negative 3, 3. And for B, this is negative 3, 0. So you will see that is 3 minus 0. This is 3 units. Once again, this is negative 3, 3. This is negative 3, 0. And for the right hand side, if you want to calculate CD, this is okay because this is 4, 3, this is 4, 0. And now for this one, it's obvious that we know that this is 4 minus negative 3 because you have 0 are equal. So you have 4 minus negative 3. So you've got 4 plus 3, that is 7 units. So this is question 1. And then finally, we find the area is 7 times 3. This is 21st, 21, not 21st. But this one is, please pay attention, this is the area. With the area, you have the cm square, m square, km square. So this time we have units. So we have, this time, different. We have square units. SQ dot, U-N-I-T-S. This one is for square. But we cannot write unit square here. This is weird, so don't write something like this. Okay? Now this is question one. Okay, now we'll go to question two. If you do not finish question one, so please pause now. And now we will go to question two. Okay, now you have 10 seconds to understand this question and hope you can calculate this immediately. Okay, I'm going to show the answer. If you do not finish, please pause it. I repeat, please pause it. Okay, now we are going to find the AB. First of all, we are going to write down the coordinate of it. For the A is negative 2, 1. For B is negative 2, negative 3. For C, this is 5, negative 3. We have these three coordinate, and now we're going to calculate the AB. AB, you will see negative 2 and negative 3 are the same, so you have the bigger one, 1 minus negative 3. So you got 1 plus 3, you got 4 units. Okay, you have this one. Next, we have 5, then we have negative 2, so you have 5 minus negative 2. So you got 5 plus 2, you got 7 units. Finally, I'm going to calculate the area. Please pay attention. We have the 7 times 4, but this is a triangle. So please divide by 2. So you have this one, 28 over 2, that is 14 square units. Finish. Okay, this is question 2, and I pause it. Please pause it now, if you do not finish, and I will go to question 3 immediately. Okay, now I will go to question three. 
Okay, now this is question three. <laughs> this time you're going to calculate the base and the height. Okay, it's a little bit hard if we do not draw the height. Okay, now let me draw the height for you all. Okay, now for height, we're going to draw is something like this. This is the height I'm going to draw. This is called E. Okay, something like this once again. Okay, now I'll give you 15 seconds. Please write down all the coordinates and then find the base and the height and the area of the parallelogram ABCD. Okay, now we'll go to this question. If you do not finish, now please pause the video. After you finish, and then you can play the video once again. Okay, now we're going to write down the coordinate. For point A, you have negative 2, 4. For point B, you have negative 4, negative 3. For point C, you will see 1, negative 3. For D, you have, once again, this is 3, 4. And for point E, you will see the answer is negative 2 and negative 3. Once again, you will see for the, all the horizontal line, you will have the y coordinate at the same. Negative 3, negative 3, and negative 3. Horizontal line. AD is a horizontal line, you have 4, 4 are equal. For the vertical line, you will see the x coordinate are equal. Negative 2, negative 2. You only have 4 and negative 3 are different. So, this time you are going to calculate the base and the um, base and the also the height of this. Okay, now the base, I choose BZ as a base. You can choose AD as a base also. They are, both them of them are correct. And you get the same number that is 5 units in this question. So, you're going to calculate the base. We have the 1 minus negative 4. We have 1 minus negative 4. So, I'm slightly smaller. So, you have this is 5 units. Okay, for the height, you are going to calculate this one, AD. So you once again, I write small, it's 4 minus negative 3. You got 7 units. Okay, finally, we calculate the area. For the parallelogram, you only have to times them together. 5 times 7. So you got 35 squared units. So we finish question 3. So please pay attention, we are going to find our point coordinate E so that we can calculate the height of this one. If you're careful enough, you can find something that immediately that you can calculate it by finding the E. Okay? But please think first. Okay? Uh, I'll give you 15 seconds to make the revision. Okay, now I will go to question 4. If you do not finish, please pause it now. Okay, now we will go to question 4. Okay, now I'll give you 15 seconds. Please find out the answer by yourself. This one, obviously, we do not need to draw the height. So I think that you can calculate it immediately. 15 seconds. Okay, now if you do not finish, now please pause the video and replay it after you finish the questions. Okay, now I'm going to talk about the answer for A, D. So first of all, we must write down the coordinate of it. For A, you will have this 1, I uh, know not 1, negative 6, 1. For part B, you will see negative 6, negative 5. For point C, you have 4 negative 5. For point D, you will see negative 2, 1. Okay, please have a look. And now I'm going to calculate the AD first. AD is the upper base of the trapezium. 
Upper base in Chinese is called Shui Dai. So negative 2 and negative 6, you have negative 2 is bigger. Minus negative 6 is smaller. So you got 4 units. I calculated fast. So you can try it by yourself one by one. And then for BC is the lower base. Lower base in Chinese is called Ha Dai. You have 2 negative 5. We do not consider it. We only consider the 4 and negative 6. So you have 4 minus negative 6. So this is 10 units. Okay, finally, we find the height. The height, we're going to find the AB. Negative 6 and negative 6, we do not consider. We only consider 1 and negative 5. So you have 1 minus negative 5. So this is 6 units. So we finish all these three. And we are going to calculate the area of the trapezium. So you have upper base plus the lower base times the height divided by 2. So you have 14 times 6 over 2. So the answer is 42 square units. Finish. Okay, now please look at the question for once again. Please pause if you find any problems here. If no, we will continue question 5. If yes, please read it once again. And first of all, please pause the video and read it one by one. And I will go to question 5 now. Okay, now I'm going to calculate the question 5 and question 6. This is the real problem that you must face because we are going to calculate something that uh, we do not have the square in the coordinate plane. We only have these two straight lines and we have only these four points. You're going to calculate this rectangle. But obviously, I think that you can calculate it well. First of all, you're going to calculate this one. Okay, I give you 15 seconds. I hope that you can calculate it immediately. Okay, if you do not finish, please pause it. Otherwise, we will go to the answers. So first of all, I'm going to calculate this PQ or RS. Even any one is okay. So because they're the same, so you have PQ. The P Q. In this one, you have negative one with the same, so you only consider four and negative one in the y coordinate. So four is bigger, so four minus negative one. Okay. So this is four plus one, so this is five units. Okay, now we're going to calculate the Q R because once again. This is the length of the rectangle R. So you have 5 minus negative 1. Once again, this is 5 plus 1. This is 6 units. Okay? 5 minus negative 1. Because negative 1 and negative 1 are the same. Or even you look at the bottom one, you have 5 minus negative 1. Once again. So the area. Immediately. You can have 5 times 6. So this is 30 square units. Okay, now this is question 5. Please pay attention. You must know how to do this question first. Otherwise, because the next question you will find is a little bit difficult for you all. So please pay attention. Okay, now if you finish, we will go to question 6. If not, please pause the video. And now we will go to question 6. Okay, now this is question 6. This is a little bit difficult for you all because we know that this one OQ will be the base. But the heights, we do not know how to present it. So first of all, let's draw the straight line, the heights first. Okay, now please pay attention. And we will draw the straight line. Let us call them R. Okay, now please note this. Okay, now first of all, for question 6, we are going to calculate the R first. Otherwise, we do not know the coordinate. Now, note that this one. 
for O, obviously, you know that this is 0, 0. Okay, for R, R. But before this, anything do you think that is something wrong in this question 6? The answer is there are some typing error in this exercise. For Q, this is not 0, 5. For Q, this is 5, 0. Because you must go to the right by 5 units. So you get number for x coordinate. You do not go up. You do not go down, so you have zero here. So sometimes you must know the typing error in the exercise, so you must pay attention about this. So you're going to calculate the error here now. Once again, obviously, for point out, you know that you do not go upward, you cannot go downward. So zero for y coordinate because it controls the upward and the downward. So this is zero. Okay, for the one, you're going to find the x, which one will be equal? I told you last time for the x coordinate in the, in the video about the distance between two points, you will see for a vertical line, you will have an x coordinate equal because you know that from zero to r, you will have some units. And for zero to p, you will have the same units because they go the same distance. So if 0 go to P, to the right is 4 units. So 0 goes to R is once again, this is 4 units. So you are going to find out how to uh, find out the coordinate of R by the limited point that is we only consider O, P, Q. And you can find out the point coordinate of the R. Okay, so make sure that you know how to do this because it's very important in the next and the next questions. Question 7 and question 8. Okay, now we're going to calculate the answers. So we're going to calculate the base. The base is OQ. Once again, this is 5 minus 0. So this is 5 units. Okay, now for PR, this is the height. So you get 4 minus 0. This is 4 units. And then finally, we're going to calculate the area. The area, the sum is 5 times 4 over 2. The answer is 10 square units. Sometimes students may ask that, Mr. Tam, you calculate so fast. Why you can do something like this? Because we do cancellation, but we do not do the multiplication and do the division. We do the cancellation first with 4 and 2. We have negative 2. So 5 times 2 is 10. So I can calculate immediately. So this is question 6. Okay, please make sure you know how to find a coordinate out here. Otherwise, you cannot calculate well. And we will go to question 7. If you still don't understand, don't hesitate. Ask me after you come back to school again. Please pay attention or you can make some comments about it so that I can ask answer your question immediately. Okay, now please look at this video. Okay, please. Okay, uh, I will go to question 7 and question 8. So please make sure that you know how to do the question 6. If not, you can pause it. If yes, you can go to question 7 now. Okay, I move to question 7. Okay, now this is question 7. You will see a parallelogram once again. But this time you're going to find the height of it. So let me draw the height. Okay, because we only have these two vertical lines, so the height, what we can draw is something like this. We call it T. Okay, now let's have a note on question 7. We are going to find the coordinate of T before we calculate this. Question 7. This is the area of this parallelogram. Okay, now T is a little bit difficult. First of all, look at this. A little hint. 
for vertical lines, you will see for x coordinate, they're the same. For vertical line, the x coordinates are the same. So t is a part of the vertical i, r, s, and t. So you will see 4 will be the same. So for vertical line, the x coordinate are the same. So what is the y coordinate? Y coordinate, if vertical line is x coordinate, that means the horizontal line is the y coordinate. So we have 3. So we drop 3 here. So this is the answer for it. So this is coordinate t. OK, now, piece. OK, find out the area of it. So I pause it 15 seconds. And you can do it by yourself. OK, now, if you do not finish your calculation, now please pause it. Otherwise, I will tell you the answer. Okay, now write down the answer for it. Now uh, I'm going to calculate PQ because this is easiest for me to calculate. This is 3 minus 1. This is 2 units. You will see 0 minus negative 2 once again. This is 2 units. But I hate to calculate some negative numbers, so I use the positive number to calculation. Okay, now I'm going to calculate the height. The height is PT. You have PT, you have 4 minus negative 4 because 3 are equal. 4 minus negative 4. This is 4 plus 4. This is 8 units. Okay, now we are going to calculate the final answer, the area. The area is 2 times 8. That is 16 squared units. Okay, this is the area. Okay, now please read it in 13 seconds. Otherwise, please pause your video. Okay, now I will go to question 8. If you do not finish, please pause it. Question 8. Okay, now look at this question once again. I need to draw the height of it. Look at this question. This is a trapezium. Because this is the vertical light, because they have the same five, so this one is a upper base. Okay, we have negative three and negative three, so they are the same x coordinate. So this one is the lower base. We're going to write down the height. We do not have the height because this one is not a straight line, because you have negative three is higher, negative four is lower. So let us draw the height. Okay, now let me draw the height. Okay, let me draw the height. This is T. So this point is point T. So, okay, now we have drawn the point T. Now this is your turn. Now I give you 15 seconds. Please try to write down the coordinate T. Okay, now I will tell you the answer for coordinate of T. If you are still thinking, pause the video. I repeat, pause the video. The answer for T, you can look at this. For vertical lines, RS are equal. For vertical line, PQ, the X coordinates are equal. Negative 3, negative 3, 5, 5. So P, Q, T are straight line. So the X coordinate is negative 3 immediately. Okay, so the horizontal line, we consider the y coordinate the same then. So the same level is negative 4, so this is negative 3 and negative 4. So this is coordinate t. Okay, now I'm going to calculate the upper base, lower base, and the heights. Okay, now 10 seconds for you all. And then I will do the calculations.
quick it out, I will do the calculation. If you do not finish, please pause it. RS is the upper pace. So we have negative 2. This is a bigger one. Minus negative 4, the smallest one. So this is negative 2 plus 4. You got 2 units. Okay, now the upper base. Don't calculate T. You only calculate the PQ. Because this is only lower base. So you will see the lower base is 4 minus negative 3. That is 4 plus 3, 7 units. Finally, you are going to calculate RT, which is the height of the trapezium. This time, negative 4 are the same, so you got 5 minus negative 3. 5 plus 3 is 8 units. Okay, we calculate this one. And finally, we found the area. The area is the upper base plus the lower base times height divided by 2. Once again, I've told you that you can do some cancellation first. 8 and 2, you have 4. But don't cancel this 2 because you have addition. In primary school, only multiplication and division can do cancellation, not addition. So we cancel this one, we cannot cancel this one. 2 plus 7 is 9. 9 times 4 is 36 square units. Okay, now look at this uh, finished symbol. Okay, now this is question X. So please pay attention about these questions. Make sure that you know how to calculate the colony of T. And we will go to question 9 in 5 seconds. Once again, Although we repeat many times, if you still have problem, please pause it. And now we'll go to question 9. Okay, question 9. This is the last question I'm going to calculate. I'm going to find this figure. This time we call it figure because we're going to calculate two parts of it. We have a rectangle and a square. So this one is called the split plane method. We cut it into two figures so that I can calculate it. Also, you can fill it also. But it's a little bit difficult to find this coordinate. So why don't we find the G? Okay, I'll give you 15 seconds. Can you find the coordinate of G? The coordinate of G, you know at this, F, E, G are vertical line. F, E, we have the same one, so G once again, same one. For B, G, Z is a horizontal line. You will see negative 5 and negative 5 the same, so G must have the same negative 5. So this is 1, negative 5 for point G. So you are going to write down the answer for the area. So first of all, let's calculate the rectangle A, B, G, F first. So first of all, let's calculate A, F. Because why we don't use B, G? Because although we find the coordinate, sometimes I do not know, am I correct or not? So what I will do, I will use the number that given to me so that I can calculate correct. So first of all, I calculate A, F. This is... 1 minus negative 4, that is 1 plus 4, so you got 5 units. 1 plus 4 is 5. And then we go to AB, we could not use FG. Once again, AB is 1 minus negative 5. 1 plus 5, you got 6 units. So the area of A, B, G, F is 5 times 6, that is 30 squared units, okay?
this is the area of ABGF. And then I will find the area of CDEG. It's a square. So because it's called square, so I only calculate one side for it. Which one I will choose? I will choose CD or DE. Because once again, G is not correct. Maybe. So I will choose CD. It is obvious that it must be correct. Or if this time I will choose DE also, because DE is much easier for you, because 3 minus 1. But for CD, you could get the same answer. Because this one is negative 3 minus negative 5. That is negative 3 plus 5, that is 2 units. Once again, in case you can calculate 3 minus 1, it's much easier for you. But this time I choose a stupidly. Okay, so choose a careful one. 3 minus 1 is much better. But this time I will also get the same answer. So the area of square. Area of C, D, E, G. C, D, E, G. So you got 2 times 2. You got four units, a square units. So you got this one. So finally, the area of the figure. Okay, we finished this one. The figure is 30 plus 4. That is 34 squared units. Okay, finishing symbol. Okay, this is the whole question that you're going to calculate. In case we are not required to find G, but sometimes we will need it. So we must know how to do this. But this time, most of the time, I will not use G if I do not need it. Okay? Okay, a little bit long for this video. So please pay attention. If you have still have any problem, please pause it to load the question 9. And now I will finish this video now. Thanks for watching.